him. He's in between two trucks and he does get sideways and then overcorrects it. Mm. And man, did that truck hit the wall hard. You talked about it. You're going 160, 170 miles an hour when you get into the turn. Yeah, but you know, and that's a hard right turn. Carl Edwards, can he make it stick on the outside? Brad thought he had the best car all night. Took the inside line on the restart. This is going to be down to the wire. Oh, oh. they touched. He spun out. Carl gets into Keslowski. Oh, Carl my Edwards gosh. will win. That's it, checkered flag. He's We saw the car abruptly turn left and then go back right. What happened? Uh, something in the front end just broke. Uh, broke. Something as you can see, broke. the right no. front is destroyed. Therefore, he has no brakes. Almost like the throttle's even stuck. It, he, does, it does look that way. You know, I'm not so sure that maybe he didn't hit the wall and, 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 and daze himself and just stayed in the throttle. Gets around right there going down into turn one. Could be a nut. Oh, my goodness. Just side remember, down, you're over. internet cornered almost 200 down miles per hour. That and here's that 51, and that turned him in. That turned him right into a Gilliland yep. when he did that. And watch that red car shoot across the track, right Damn. into the path of David Gilliland. And I guarantee you, Gilliland was on it, trying to get through it without getting in it, and he didn't quite make it. And that is unbelievable. This is real time. Oh, off the ground, no brakes at all. Oh. What a contact. That is Jimmy Johnson. Gets launched right here, and it just pretty much clears the sand trap. There's nothing the trap can do. Jimmy. following the truck, the truck in front of him. Don't know what's going on there. Whoa. Oh, look out. We got trouble. This is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. Montoya and Bobby Labonte were racing right in front of him in turn four. Yeah, and this at market caught these cars. You can see Bobby Labonte looks like just loses it, gets loose with that car right up in, uh, behind him there. But Mark had been there for a while, and you can see Mark spinning now. Not much you can do except hold on and lock the brakes as a driver at this point in time. And right there. Oh. Yeah, I was lucky the crew members weren't injured there as well. I'm telling you. Getting a nice push right from him. Oh, oh, oh trouble. Harvick's around. Oh, got spun on the back stretch by the 43. How many is it going to collapse? Hold the brake. Oh, what a vicious crash. Eric McClure. Oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Boris said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Whether the team could switch points. Whoa, 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 guys. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh, my gosh. Three wide, one four wide, and that's not what you want to do. And he gets tagged in the right rear quarter panel. Allendinger does, and Keselowski's like, where did this come from? I didn't even see that one coming. There was, that was just one freak accident. Down slow, Rick. Oh, Bravo, he's been Bobby Hamilton Jr. gets spun around. Bobby Hamilton Sr. takes over the jump line and problems behind them. David Ruman hitting very hard into the side of the 59 of Bobby Hamilton Jr. Carl Edwards. Oh, oh big contact. hit. That was Bill Lester, I believe, in the 22. Bill Lester hits hard. Travis Quapel goes down pit road. David Rudiman and Chad Chaffin also involved. Bill Lester's truck comes to 